Alright, we're back with the jump event. Jump as far as possible from the line. Each player gets two jumps. The white team will go first, the red team second. If you jump after the line, it's a foul and it won't count. Oops, it's time to start. Do your best. It's time to show off your slider jump. Alright, you remember the slider jump, right? This is probably one of the few areas that you'll it'll actually come in handy unless you're trying to speed run levels or something like that okay you remember the slider jump right here there we go camera hold down press the a button to slide and then jump while sliding Woo! like that and while you're in midair you want to do a boost just like this kind of boost so you can get as much length as possible yes that is legal in the event so slide jump go 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 okay that's not bad that's not bad i could have got better though i usually get past that line actually <laughs> but it's definitely far farther than the clancer will ever get <laughs> as you can see right there so it's not really much so it's not really a big deal if you screw up and jump oh wait 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 Slide jump, go, 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 pass the line, pass the line, pass the line, yeah, see, easy to get past the line. And the Clancer will never, ever get past that. There's only two rounds to this, so total score wins. I beat him on both rounds, so that means I definitely won. <laughs> Easily. And award ceremony. Yeah. Yeah. As you can see, you also get some of your health back depending on how you place, and you can you also get some red gems for continues and stuff like that, which no doubt will come in handy on the later levels because they are or anno either annoyingly hard or they're just plain annoying. Okay, this is ball. The object of this one is to catch balls in the clan pot. Each team must throw the balls into the clan pot. Get as many into the clan pot as you can. You have 60 seconds. Marita, you're on the white team and must carry the clan pot. Collect wisely. Whoops, it's time to start. Do your best. Don't catch any bombs. Okay, the object is to catch the white balls while avoiding the red ball. Balls. Yep, you got a clan pot. Grab it. Catch the white balls. Give me no, not the red ball. Go away, red ball. No red balls. <laughs> There's far more red balls and bombs than there are white balls. So you gotta take the opportunities as they're given to you. Whoa, red ball. <laughs> as you can see, the odds are stacked against you, but honestly, it's it's kinda hard to get the balls in there to begin with. <laughs> It's, it takes a little bit of practice to get. Whoa, no, I caught a bomb. No. <laughs> ah, I caught a red ball. No. Go away, red balls. Red balls actually wouldn't be that healthy. <laughs> oh, no, no. Ow. Ah, got a ball. Okay. <laughs> well, I lost one white ball, but I got another white ball. Uh, I got one red ball, so that means our team is still winning and it hurt. <laughs> no, go away, red ball. Go. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Uh, we're still in the lead. We're still in the lead with seven seconds to go. I could actually just avoid everything at the moment and just let the timer run out. But I'll just, yeah, there we go. Let's have one more ball. Yeah, ow! Yeah. Go away, Clan Pot. We won. <laughs> Yay! World record! Actually, it probably isn't the world record. <laughs> they have gaming world records out there. I never really checked into them very much, though. So. And hurdles! This is just like the meter dashes, you know, 100 meter, 200 meter, and 400 meter. Only this time, you have to jump over hurdles, which is clan blocks. This is actually probably the easiest event of them all. Even easier than the 400 meter dash, because it's still short. Oops, I pressed the right by mistake there. Yeah, no flying. That's what they call flying, is jumping ahead. And, uh... Because the hurdles slow down your opponent so much that it just makes it so easy. You'll see what I mean. <laughs> see that? He had to, he has to jump over both blocks individually. Well, you can just fly right over him. <laughs> Pretty pathetic, actually. So, yeah, and you can boost past them and all sorts of stuff. You've got the right of way while he doesn't. <laughs> pretty much, and that's it for the hurdles. <laughs> Even she is happy. As you can see, it is short, which saves your thumb a whole lot of pain. That's also what makes it easy. <laughs> and what makes the 400 meter probably a little bit harder because you don't have the thumb problems. <laughs> Dang you, button mashing. <laughs> and 
Pattern Math Fun is the last one. Basically, we're going to be doing simple math equations by grabbing balls in midair. Yeah, that's, that's kind of suggestive sounding, but yeah. <laughs> that's basically what we have to do. And yeah, it's time to start. It's it's nothing very that very hard, but it's easy to grab the wrong ball. You'll see what I mean if I grab a wrong ball. Three plus five plus one equals nine. <laughs> and if you grab the wrong ball, you have to um, grab that arrow there, and it'll erase your numbers. But usually, if you grab the wrong ball, you might as well just forget about it because it, you just won't have enough time to erase your answer and get the next ball you know you, um it, it, it just wastes more time than needed and one yeah you have to sometimes grab two balls and uh, yeah he takes a pretty good good amount of time but as i said if you screw up you pretty much ruined your chances <laughs> and that's uh, eh. oh no i grabbed the wrong ball no <laughs> oh he got it see what i mean <laughs> It was supposed to be 12. No. Okay, and there we go. It's not it's not hard at all as you can see. It's just uh, very touchy, you know, uh, because you can grab any of the other balls. But the event is over pretty dang quick, yeah. <laughs> and that was the last event and I won each and every one of them. <laughs> Obviously, getting 9 right would have been the world record, because, you know, they only allow so many math problems there. So it's a pretty easy world record to get there, because it's unbreakable. <laughs> and Catastrophe is the next one. This one's pretty fun, and very silly. Thank you, thank you all! The game is over, and the winning team is... The White Team! Wow, he just thrust in a fist in excitement. Okay, listen up. There's a wonderful prize for the white team. And the prize is Professor Theo. Professor, come on down. And we get a cat. <laughs> a very weird looking cat. But it's kind of cute. Professor Theo's been kidnapped by Lunar. What a bummer. I'm Cat Clancer, and I've come to destroy Marina. I'm too weak. Let's settle this with a game of dodgeball. Only Marina and I'll play. Everyone else move. It seems like I just missed the professor. So if I win, you'll have to take me to him. Sure, since Theo is with Lunar. Since you two are playing this game of dodgeball, I'll be the judge. Dodgeball rules. One, throw the ball at the opponent. Oops, <laughs> I kind of clicked through that. Left side is Marina's and the right side is Cat Clancer. These players must stay on their side. Again, Marina on the left, Cat Clancer on the right. Fight fair, and if you can avoid being hit by the ball, then it moves. Time to start. Good luck to both of you. Yeah, I'm just kind of skipping the text there, because I want to cut this right here. See you next part. Wait, wait, I mean a few seconds. Okay, sorry about that. Now you see why I need a bigger memory card. <laughs> and now, the object of this one is to throw the balls back at the kitty. And yeah, it's basically dodgeball. Just stay on your side of the thing. He'll, he'll keep throwing balls very weakly, and they are easy as you would expect to dodge. And you can throw absolutely anything at him, including the flowers. <laughs> Which are only on his side, sadly. And, uh, yeah, and so the balls are so weakly thrown that they don't even hurt you. <laughs> I, well, they do hurt you, actually, but I mean, that they sometimes don't even reach you. <laughs> That's a problem with the kitty there. But though, when he's grabbing a ball, you can't hit him with a ball, so that kind of... Oh, I just threw it over his head. Aha! And throw it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> to my side. Yeah, you can use any of, any of the balls, actually. As you can see what I'm doing, I'm just throwing everything everywhere at them, and yeah, right in your face, and that's it. Talk to the kitty. Oh, just as I thought, I knew you'd be good. Let's go see Lunar and Theo. Just be sure to be careful of his missiles and laser beam. He's always scolding me for adding on the missiles. He says that they're not toys, but they sure are fun to play with. When you shake them, they'll get bigger. Or, I mean, they get bigger. Yeah. Alright, I guess that's it for this part. Yeah, as you can see, I really wish I had a bigger memory card. Even 4 megabytes would allow me to do like 3 parts at one time, which would be really nice to do. So I gotta invest in that one of these days, instead of hanging around with my 1 gigabyte memory card. So I'll see you guys in the next part.